All right, today I want to share with you a new tool that I've developed. Um, I spent the last couple of days uh, learning about this new Python framework. And uh, my primary reason for learning it was that I thought I could use it at work. And uh, I think I will be able to, but it's always good to pick up new skills. So uh, the framework is called Streamlit. And basically what it allows you to do is to go ahead and build a uh, financial dashboard or any other dashboard really from different data sources. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, Streamlit gives you access to just displaying things on a web page using either matplotlib or plotly to do your data visualization, but uh, presenting it very nicely and kind of just doing it as a web server without having to configure a web server. So uh, here it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this uh, on GitHub. I'm not going to provide any support. You're going to have to figure all that out on your own. But what's driving this is basically an Excel sheet that has uh, investments and some data points that uh, I've anonymized and whatnot, but it's set up so that it's uh, an Excel kind of stock data sheet. So you can just refresh, you know, update current prices and things like that. But uh, I think this took me like maybe two days to just build from scratch. Um, other people are using it to display sales data and whatnot, but uh, I decided that the best way for me to play around with it was just to put it into a financial dashboard. So like I said, the link's gonna be uh, below to GitHub, you can download the source, study it, do whatever. But it's basically just uh, standard Python, uh, you'll need Pandas and uh, the Streamlit library, but that's about it. But this is what it looks like, it's actually pretty nice. So the dashboard just shows you know, the current net worth, uh, what it did compared to uh, the previous month. So we know it's been a rough couple of months in the market. Gives me you know, a retirement progress uh, based on a budget that was set up uh, and how much money I would need in order to get to retirement. And then it also projects a retirement date based on the current investment balance. So net worth is uh, encompassing, you know, primary residence and other things like that. And some of that you can't use to live in retirement. But basically, you know, when you go around um, through this, you'll see that this is, you know, live data. So it's uh, pretty interactive. So you can see the net worth, you know, two years ago, uh, the peak in April, and then, you know, start dropping down. And here you can take a snapshot of uh, the graph as a picture and save it. You can zoom in. So uh, if we want to zoom into a particular time frame, we can, and it'll, it'll do that for us. Um, this main page doesn't do much more than just show current net worth and progress, and then just total assets versus liability. Right? Uh, there's a spend module here where if you click on it, you'll get spending details and it tells you the uh, year to date spend. And this uh, up arrow here means <laughs> we're spending more than our budget. Here's the month to date and then the average for the month uh, so far through, uh, through July. And then for current spend, it displays this tree map that gives you, you know, like how much is being spent in different categories. So, you know, mortgages, uh, just general spending on crap, probably insurance, whatever. And then if you go into this tab for the current month spend details, you get to see uh, all of the spend that went, went into it. So these are uh, kind of anonymized data and numbers that have been changed around a bit, but gives you kind of, you know, good representation of what's going on. The nice thing about this is that you can scroll through uh, the data frame as well. So switching back to the map, and then down here is just uh, same view, but now it's for the current year. So it's all the spend for uh, this year. And then if you click this tab, you get the detail by category. And then when we go down to the very bottom, we get the uh, historical spend. So now it's spend by year with uh, details uh, when you click into it. And the nice thing about this is that there are some historical spend filters. So right now we have 2014 through year to date 2022. But uh, if I click and kill this, um, this will adjust. So you can see 2014 went away. We can get rid of 15 and 16. And there we go. 
Okay, so that's the uh, spend module. Going into the investment module, it gives the current portfolio value. Um, page is not wide enough, so some of this is getting truncated. Uh, let me see if I close the sidebar, if this gets better. So there you go. If I close the sidebar, you can see all five uh, metric measurements. But uh, all of this is done with Streamlit, and uh, it is calculated from live numbers. So there you go. I mean, live as in real stock prices, but, you know, quantities are whatever they are. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is how this works. The first section is uh, kind of the portfolio allocation. So the first tab is just the asset allocation. So 53% in U.S. stocks, 11% uh, in treasury, some 15% in cash, REITs, gold, whatever. And if we go to sector, it... Uh, gives you the specific sector. So most of the U.S. stock is in large cap growth. Um, there's some financials in there, some energy, some industrials, and other things. When we scroll down, there's a section here that shows you where your money are invested, Schwab, Fidelity, Interactive Broker, and uh, some crypto. And then uh, how the accounts are all broken up. And then down here, it gets into the detail portfolio holdings. So in the detail portfolio holdings, we have, uh, you know, the individual stocks and the positions that make them up. Okay. Let's go back up. I expand the sidebar again, and we'll take a look at the retirement plan. So the retirement plan just uh, gives me a quick view of uh, current investment value, the projected retirement value, progress that's made towards it, and the monthly income, and then when the expected retirement date. And based on the assumptions that are in the uh, spreadsheet, this is the retirement balance over a 45 year retirement uh, time frame. And if you click inside the assumptions tab, it kind of tells you the investment growth rate, inflation, safe withdrawal, social security, so on and so forth. And then down here is a little uh, retirement budget that says we're going to spend 50% of our money on housing. That's uh, mortgages, property insurance, uh, property taxes, whatever. There's a bit here for travel. If we're going to retire early, uh, medical is going to take up a big chunk of it, so on and so forth. And then this is the allocation for the retirement asset uh, bucket. And this is what is driving this 8% uh, assumption. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I made this to really learn Streamlit. Uh, I'm decent at Python, but uh, you know I'm not like a wizard at it. But I'm pretty decent with Python and Pandas and, and, and whatnot. And uh, it took a couple of days to kind of learn this framework, which I think is really cool, actually, and can be very useful to develop something that you can run as a web page and the benefit of that versus like an excel workbook because you can do a lot of this stuff in a workbook is that you can view it on a mobile device a tablet any computer without having to open up like the full excel um, so yeah it's uh, really useful check it out and uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up uh, buy me a cup of coffee whatever you want to do but uh, like I said, I'll make the source code available, but I'm not going to give any support. So you're going to have to figure out how to do all of this. If I can figure it out in two days, uh, you can too. Google's your friend. So uh, enjoy, and I hope you find it useful. Later.